Welcome back. Utah has its fair share of uh, Willy Wonkas, and that's because creating and selling chocolate is big business here. Yeah, it's also now a class at Utah State University. News 4 Utah's Rick Aaron got a golden ticket to go behind the scenes. There's no chocolate rivers or Oompa Loompas here at the Mrs. Cavanaugh's Chocolate Factory in North Salt Lake. Just a lot of hardworking people using science to make these treats. The chocolate drizzled over these rum cream starts out as cocoa beans that have to be fermented, dried, roasted, and carefully blended with sugar and butter. Professor Silvana Martini teaches that process at Utah State University, where students go from beans to bars using the brand new Aggie Chocolate Factory, the first campus chocolate factory in the western U.S. We have beans from Belize, and we're going to process the beans all the way from the beans the way we get them to the final pro uh, product that is going to be chocolate. USU graduate Kaylee West took the class and described it as awesome. We got to actually see the cocoa beans, take them apart. Um, we got to see the different processes. Um, she did a lot of videos, so we watched how different things happened. Kaylee says she learned a lot. Despite growing up in a chocolate family, she's the granddaughter of Mrs. Cavanaugh herself and still works at the factory. I enjoy it. Watching everything still is mesmerizing to me. Back in Logan, Professor Martini recently gave us a tour of the brand new factory slash laboratory located in Aggie Blue Square just west of Maverick Stadium where you can watch students and professors making the chocolate and soon will be able to have a taste yourself. There's going to be a little cafe here on the side and the cafe will feature different hot cocos that we're going to top maybe with some cocoa nibs and some whipped cream and also we're going to make some pastries that are going to uh, have our chocolate. And if you'd like to see the process for yourself here at Mrs. Cavanaugh's, they offer tours Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. In North Salt Lake, Rick Aaron, News 4, Utah.